Short story featuring an urban mech. Written by Reddit user InDreams1. Read by Shrapnel. John was facing down an 85-ton Battlemaster assault mech from the rounded cockpit of a 30-ton urban mech alone. John knew that the 30-ton egg on leg stood no chance, especially when the urban mech's signature autocannon had been blown clean off. But, well, there was no other choice. John's company of mechs had answered the call to defend the noble house Peyton against the invading force of the Draconis Combine and lost. John's own mech, the nimble Shadowhawk he named Headtaker, was destroyed at the Battle of Dolphin Bridge. Though John recalled proudly, not before having taken down a dragon and a phoenix hawk. Most of John's company of mechs were destroyed at Dolphin Bridge. All the others were strewn across the planet like lonely boulders, ready to be salvaged by the Combine. The only mech left that could defend the Peyton Mansion and the Noble family was an urban mech. Its previous pilot, a planetary defense militiaman, had lost his nerve and ejected early in the conflict. So the mech was mostly spotless, other than a light scorching from a flamer, which, John recalled, the hapless militiaman had ejected into. There were other pilots, though John was the only one who had been in battle with an urban mech, back when he was a promising youth in the house painted militia before leaving to join a mercenary company. Unlike the others, he knew what the mech could do and couldn't do. And what the urban mech couldn't do was trade fire with an assault mech, especially not without his autocannon, but what it could do. The Battlemaster had paused when he saw the urban mech, its pilot either laughing at the ridiculously outclassed opposition or awed at the breathtaking audacity. John took careful aim with the small laser at the Battlemaster's oversized cockpit canopy and fired. The beam scattered brightly on the canopy. While an urban mech was equipped with jump jets, John knew they weren't powerful enough to close the distance by themselves. Instead, he leaped forward with the legs and fired the jump jets in strong bursts at an angle, causing the mech to hover slide towards the blinded Battlemaster. The urban mech touched the ground right in front of the Battlemaster and then it leaped straight up with a full burst on the jump jets. John knew that the only effective weapon was the 30 ton weight of the urban mech and he intended to bear it down on top of that Battlemaster. But the left jump jet sputtered and gave out and the urban mech began rotating clockwise. John panicked and flailed at the controls. Then he heard the thunder and shake of a mech limb breaking on another mech. To onlookers, it looked like the urban mech had made a dash, jump, pirouette before landing a perfect drop kick on that Battlemaster. The Battlemaster toppled backwards and in the end the urban mech stood with badly crumpled legs over the metal giant in even worse condition. And that was how John became the urban mech specialist.